It's your boy Jump Boss TV, man. Y'all go ahead and uh like and subscribe to this channel, man. I'm gonna start dropping some jewels on y'all boys, man. But uh basically what I'm gonna talk about today is you know, Tiny, her uh salty ass friend tried to expose them and everything and the shit just ain't looking good, man. I don't know if if, if she's just a hater or or, or what she doing, but you know, it's like it's so crazy. Like you could be friends with somebody for so long, and you have their back, and and you posting pictures and and videos with them. You know, kind of like riding their wave. And then as soon as y'all get into it or something, you want to expose shit from years and years ago. And uh, to me, it just looked like man, she just salty as hell, man. She. She mad that a uh, old girl was Seneca, whatever, Tiny's friend that's blowing up and got her own businesses and shit. And she's just sitting there looking like she all broke down and, and got that hate in her blood, man. Salty ass woman, man. But check this shit out. Let me know if y'all think this is just some salty shit or not. Because to me, man, this it sounds like she's just being salty against these, these people, man. Just don't, like, whatever you do, tell your story. Don't lie and don't be scared. Like your face isn't on this at all. Yes, it, it's just so much has happened, and then it's like I was roofy, so a lot of the, a lot of shit that happened I don't remember. How old were you, and where were you at? I was sixteen, and I went to some um, like it's like a building, but it was a studio above that, and I. Went Hold on, man. I just want to say, man, like, this girl's so salty that she interviewing people that supposedly that she, that they did something to when they were young or whatever, allegedly, and and playing detective and shit, but this shit could backfire on her because what people don't understand is she was supposed to be the girl that was recruiting women for T.I. and Tiny. So you really is telling on yourself right now. You dry snitching, man. Everybody know that that's what's being said on the internet that you the one that was recruiting the girls. So y'all trying to do some kind of Bill Cosby scandal with Ti and them and try to get them out of some money and shit or what's going on, man? But we gonna get back to the video, man. I deal with a guy named Brandon, mm -hmm. and um, he was supposed to let me meet too. Because, you know, Tip, I think Tip was thinking about starting his label. And he wanted me to meet Tip. I was nervous then, too. He gave me a drink. Like, he asked me, did I want a drink? I told him, yeah, he gave me the drink. It was like a little shot. I, I remember it. Like, it was like a little shot. I took, I, I took the shot. And after I took... Man, I, I, I ain't gonna keep pausing it, but I'm just saying, do you see how salty this girl looked? Just because they ain't friends, and I guess she didn't get as, as successful as uh, what's her name, Shakira, or whatever. Because I heard she was she was hating on Shakira. She supposedly stole her name and tried to be her, and then she had to pay all this money to get the shit back right and everything. So it's like you can see this, the 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 shyness, like like she's she's furious because she she want to be in that position and she ain't and she supposedly was friends with tiny before uh shakira or whatever her name is and she was mad that that uh tiny was spending so much time with her and having reality tv shows and shit and she kind of like out of the circle but we gonna get back to the video I started losing like, like mobility, like I couldn't fully function. Um, I remember sitting on it, they had like a little couch. I was sitting on the couch. At first it was just me and that guy. Um, and then I passed out and it was like, you know how, like you can pass out and then I popped back up and it was like him and two other dudes. So it was Brandon, and I don't know who the other two men were. Still to this day, I don't know who those two men were. So where was Tip when all this was happening? 
he was in a room on the other side of us. So it was like a hall and it was, it, okay, so you know how an apartment building is like three different halls, like, like the build of an apartment building where it's like a hallway in different apartment buildings. It was like we were in one room, but I was waiting on tip. Like I was supposed to be singing for him, giving him my demo. I was supposed to be meeting him. Did he know that did, did, did he see you take a drink or was he did you did you ever encounter him at all? So on the way out, it was like I met him, but I didn't get a chance to like sit and fully talk with him. But you know, him and him and the guy did like a high five and he was like, Yo, wow and he said, Y'all wild? Yeah. After they raped you? Who said y'all wild? Two. How were, you this, how were you when this happened? Like, what year was this? I was 16, and this was, I want to say, the, was it 2011? I know because the only reason I know, it, had to be, it was 2011, and Tip had just, I think he just got out of jail, or he was just about to go to jail. One of those, because I remember the guy talking about it. That they, um... I called my mom. And my mom actually flew to Atlanta and they made my mom sign the paper. But the guy explained to me that the paper was just because I was around such a high profile celebrity. Anything that happened with that, so like around surrounding that celebrity, I couldn't talk. So he made me and my mother sign the paper. Anything else you want to say? Like, anything else you want to say? Like, like, no, I just try to let this go. Like this, ha I'm, I'm 26 now, so I try to let this go. But these people is really like animals. Like they not who they say they are at all, and it's just a shame. And just separating it with you alone, like I, I'm seeing all of this stuff happen, and these people don't believe you. <laughs> truth for truth. Clifford Harris put a gun in my head. Truth is, I didn't have a weapon. Truth is, I didn't call the police on him. Truth is, I didn't sue him and I could have. Truth is, I never spoke about this on the many times I could have spoke about it. That's the truth. That's the truth. And regardless... Man, like I say, man, come on now. It's like, shit, man. <sighs> I, this is what I don't understand about this shit. Like, these girls, I can understand. Okay, you say, well, I was 16. I was manipulated. I just wanted to to, uh, to be around T.I. and all that. And, and and we know that, of course, it's illegal to have sex with underage girls. And, you know, they, they should be, you know, they should be a little more <clears throat> cautious about doing that shit. But you got to understand these, a lot of these girls, man, they be coming in there lying about their age. And all. I mean, I just seen all kind of shit out here in this, in this entertainment industry and shit. Like a motherfucker will lie about how old they is like, you know, quick, you know, half these women be looking older than you. Shit. I bet you some of them girls look older than T.I. So that's when you're going to have to ask for ids and all that and what if they got fake ids you know like it's always more to the story but my thing is it's just it looks like this lady is just so salty why is she going back and doing that when everybody knows she's the one they used to hire allegedly you know women for threesomes for them so it's like you telling on yourself you know what i'm saying she don't understand she really telling on herself She's low-key snitching on her damn self 
you know what I'm saying? She low-key snitching on her damn self because she played a part in it too. So if all this shit is true, then then you was solicitating it and all that. Man, I feel like this girl is just salty because she probably ain't in the family hustle. All T.I. All got to gotta do is let her get in the episode or something, man. Help her get a nail shop. You know, I don't know. But it's like, damn, man. This shit be so stupid, man. Whenever you got, you know, people that... that, that that hate you or like or been with you and they feel like maybe you didn't put them on but you know the other girl shakari you gotta understand if you follow her she tiny and and, and ti didn't necessarily put her on she put her own stuff on she made herself instagram famous people liked her you know what i'm saying her personality she was funny she she got all her fans Motherfuckers think just because oh I'm hanging out with T.I. I'm I, or oh, I do Tiny's hair I'm gonna be famous. Yeah, old girl Shakira did do or whatever her name is. She did do her hair, but that ain't what made her famous. You got to put in work too. And this this woman just looking at all uh, salty, calling all the girls. How she even know what girls to call and shit and go live with them and tell on them if she wasn't a recruiter? Think about that. Man, but that's why I say, man, you never know. This shit probably might get deep like some motherfucking Bill Cosby shit. There's going to be a lot of law, you know, a lot of legal things and shit, unless this shit just gets sweeped under the rug, but I don't know. Oh, man, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all like and subscribe, man. This is Boss TV, man.